All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to construct a circle using the geometry sketch pad. And to do that, we're going to use the tools on the toolbar, and we're going to use some of the construction methods that are built into Sketchpad. And so the first way to define a circle is if uh, you know where the center is, and uh, you use the radius. So we define a circle by a center point and a radius. And so there's my center point, and I'm dragging out a radius using my segment tool here. And so I've got the center and this is the radius and now I can use the circle tool I can just click on that first center point and then click on the second end of the radius point and I've defined my circle now a second way to do to define a circle in sketchpad or actually in general is by two points so if you have two points these also define a circle and they define a circle because we say that one of the points is the center and the other of the points lies on the edge of that circle and that will uniquely define a circle and so if we take our circle tool start at our center click and drag and attach to that point that defines a circle now in sketchpad sketchpad has made it fairly easy to create circles with this tool and so i can actually i don't need any of those points uh, or that radius to actually build a circle i can just use the circle tool click that's my center and move this to any radius that I want. Uh, it's random here. I don't really have a measurement. I don't have a way to do that uh, the way it sits right now. But uh, that's another way that you can draw a circle unique in Sketchpad. Now, the third way is probably the most interesting mathematically. And that is if you take any three points. So here are my three points. And uh, let's say right there. Uh, it turns out that you can find a unique circle that goes through those three points. And in order to do that, uh, what's important to create are the um, perpendicular bisectors for the segments that go through these points. So I'm going to create a segment through these two points and for these two points. It doesn't matter which two points you choose. I could have chosen these two points and drawn that segment, but you have to draw two of the three segments. And uh, now we need a perpendicular bisector. And so uh, let's bisect these uh, lines first. And so if I select both of them, and only both of them, and go to the Construct menu, I can actually construct the midpoints. And there they are. And if I select by dragging over the midpoint in that segment and go up to the Construct menu, I can choose Perpendicular Line. I'm going to make that a dotted line. Make it a little thinner and make it dotted just so that we can tell it's a, not part of the construction. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I select the line and the point, and that's all I select, and choose perpendicular line. And there's the second perpendicular line. And now the nice thing about this is that the important part here is where these two cross. And if you're really careful with the mouse, you can just click here where they cross and create a point, or if you want, you can just drag over both of those lines, go to the construct, and choose the point on, uh, uh, or the intersection of where those points, uh, those lines cross. And it turns out that that point is the center of the circle that goes through, and let's take the dotted off here, um, those uh, three points and one of the nice things that you can do here is you can um, oops, uh, in sketch because this is sketchpad I can move this around and that circle no matter where those three points are will always go through all three if I've constructed them by creating the perpendicular bisector of these two segments. And these segments are actually called chords because they uh, attach to the edges of the circle. So that is actually a really nifty, nifty way to make a circle by uh, connecting the perpendicular bisectors of any two chords on the edge of that circle. And you need three points for that. Good luck. Have fun creating some circles.